going on guys so I was watching this video talking about the Xbox One X and its memory now I've brought this to the table before about the whole memory issue with this generation 500 gigs was the standard um, outing of the 360 and the PS3 why it was the standard entry for this generation with the PS4 and the Xbox One, I'll never know. The standard entry for the PS3 and the 360 from the PS2 and the original Xbox, which Xbox you kind of fucked up a little bit, were actual gigabytes taking a full leap forward here you didn't make any kind of motion you didn't make any kind of leaps and bounds you stayed put you stayed in the same lane you made no attempt to improve Sony you're the worst of these two you are the worst company out of you and Microsoft this generation when it comes to memory it took you two years I believe to get even the most remote thought of your memory uh, to even improve just a little bit fucking you couldn't even hook up an uh, external hard drive to your PlayStation 4 for the longest time before they put a patch out that would allow you to do this okay you had to purchase a approved Sony internal hard drive for over a hundred dollars and you had to run the risk of bricking your system just to get more memory for the longest time they put out a, a update where it was finally okay to have external drives on PlayStation 4 a couple of years ago. I believe it was a couple of years ago. It might have been a year ago. And that's because people were so fucking sick and tired of Sony going, No, you can only have what we want you to have on this fucking thing. Okay? Everything else with Sony was cool, but the memory problem was... It was there. They had a huge memory problem. While Xbox, on the other hand was cool with the extra storage they were they had external hard drive they had multiple external hard drives you didn't even have to have their exclusive hard drive they have hard drives that are made for the Xbox One X or not the Xbox One X but made for the Xbox One that go with like you know the special ones like the Halo 5 the uh, Gears of War 4 the Halo 2 you can buy these externals that match the system and you don't have to buy those you can just buy an external plug it in and you're good to go. There was never really an update made for the Xbox One that you had to wait on to plug an external in and, um, you know, get that memory. No, Xbox has always had that, and PlayStation didn't. So people were super pissed about this because Xbox seemed to be like, hey, um, yeah, we launched a system with 500 gigs in, but if you want to plug in an external and have billions of gigs of space, you're more than welcome to. Whereas with PlayStation, they were like, you're stuck with what we give you. Now, the reason I bring this up again is because, again, we're here again. Microsoft, you guys were moving in the right direction, okay? The Gears of War 4 Edition has two terabytes in it. I bought that little motherfucker because I love the way it looks. I like the decal on it. I like the fact there's two terabytes built into it. Um, I like the fact that the uh, external is two terabytes, and now I have four terabytes on that motherfucker. But the Xbox One X is coming out, and instead of going, okay, we have not only the four, uh, the two terabyte fucking Gears of War edition, but there's another two terabyte Xbox One S as well. There's like a few models here, and I can't remember all of them, but there are. There's a few. I believe there's a a white one. And I believe there's, like, that's the base model white one, I believe. And then there's, like, I believe um, another one you can get bundled with some games as well. And instead of them going off of, okay, we've put out a few bundles here. 
and collect uh, collector's editions of the Xbox One S that you can get with two terabytes. Maybe we should make the Xbox One X base model, the one at launch with two terabytes. They've gone backwards and said it's going to be one terabyte. Um, why? Why go backwards instead of moving forwards? What the fuck is the point of this? Everything in the Xbox One is supposedly better. You're moving everything up except the memory. And you have companies like Digital Foundry. Um, you have people like uh, Eurogamer talking about game file sizes now. And that one terabyte looks like the 500 gig that was at the start of this fucking generation. It's a joke. And you have people like me, you have people like Rich, you have people all over the place talking about how fucking weak the memory is in this thing because, hey man, people download games all the time and because you have to have additional storage for these fucking games now, they're over 100 gigs per game pretty much because, hey, the reason you got the Xbox One X is for the 4K experience, right? So the file size of the game could be like 80 plus gigs but if you want that 4k add-on it's gonna be an additional 20 25 gigs making that game over a hundred gigs so if each game is about a hundred fucking gigs you're only gonna get about seven games remember when the 500 gig came out you only got about seven games Way to repeat history there, fucking Microsoft. Way to repeat history. Okay. But if you would have came out with two terabytes, at least two terabytes would be a little bit better. Okay. And then people could plug in their external and bam, there's four. You get what I'm saying? Because people don't own a terabyte hard drive. They own two terabytes. So, bam, there's four right off the jump instead of three. You know what I'm saying? And it improves. It makes it a better reason for people to run out and buy it. And I'm just sitting there and I'm looking at it. I'm going, why? Why would a company like Microsoft that is really trying to push this and go against Sony when it comes to this machine, why would they on purpose weaken the one spot they were ahead in? Which was memory. Why would they do that? It makes absolutely no sense. Which is honestly the reason I love my Xbox more is because it came with two terabytes. I didn't have to do anything to it. When it comes to my PS4, I had to go out and buy a terabyte on top of buying the fucking PS4. Which actually is a turn off when you come to think about the PS4. Anytime you have to buy additional shit just so you can have additional shit with the system, it's a turnoff. You don't want to play that motherfucker. The less shit you have to buy for the system, the better it is, okay? That's the, that's the huge thing with me. I can stick to being digital with the Xbox because I have four terabytes. I can't do that with PlayStation. I have to stick to physical media with PlayStation because of their lame-ass bullshit. When it comes to memory, they're weak as fuck. They have all the power in the world built into their machine. But when it comes to media, when it comes to their memory side, when it comes to all that memory in there, they're weak as fuck. How the hell are you going to launch a system when you had leaps and bounds from your PS2 to PS3, but then PS4 comes out and you start off with the same you left off with the PS3 and, and you go, we're not even going to try. We're not even going to try. We're not even going to make the attempt. And then three years later, you just add in another 500 gigs. You see what I'm saying? Three years later. It, that's fucking mind-boggling to me. Because I'm like, it's been three fucking years. You should at this point be up to two terabytes. At that 1.5 right there before, at the halfway mark, you should have been at the fucking terabyte. 
Hell, you should have been at a terabyte when it fucking came out. You should be at the two terabyte. By then, this shit it should be big as hell. We shouldn't be having this problem when it comes to memory. And I know a bunch of people out there, well, the externals are cheap. Yes, but Sony, was at, they had that problem where you couldn't just plug in a fucking external. You had to wait for a fucking patch. You couldn't just use externals. Whereas with Xbox, you could. And Xbox fixed the hard drive problem. They came out with a bullshit 500 gig, yes. But remember the big VCR things? Also came out with a terabyte model. Very quickly. They were like, oh, 500 gigs isn't lasting. We hear you. We're coming out with a terabyte. Bam. Because the one I bought for my girlfriend, she's got a terabyte model. Because she wanted that terabyte model. She was like, I want that one. And I'm like, you got it. Okay? So... They saw the problem and they fixed it. What did Sony do? Nothing. You feel me? And I know they came out with a terabyte model, which was a dud with the fucking Black Ops 3 edition. But they still, after that model, did nothing to try to improve it. The only reason I have a fucking one terabyte Batman edition is because I went and bought the damn hard drive myself and put it in there. You see what I'm saying? And that's the reason a lot of people have a one terabyte PS4 if they have it at all. Is because they bought the hard drive themselves. Now, like I said, Microsoft, you guys actually did good. You you were moving in the right direction. You were going forward. You were moving the memory forward and making this thing really good. But why now with the Xbox One X do you feel you need to jump backwards and make this thing not as good as it could be? I mean, it's got a huge price tag on it. $500. You had to cheap out on memory? Your 2 terabyte externals are $100. I believe they're still $100. It might be 50 bucks by now. That wouldn't have been that bad. That wouldn't have been that bad. And I think a lot of people are thinking the same thing. Why did you take a step backwards? Why is this the most powerful console but the weakest in the memory department? Why is it the S is going to be able to outperform when it comes to memory? Seriously. Why is it that the Xbox One S is able to beat the Xbox One X in the memory department. Hopefully when there's a price drop, they'll redo the damn thing and have a two terabyte model, if not a four terabyte model, and it won't matter the price. They won't have a price hike to separate the two because that's the only way it's gonna make the Xbox One the more superior one. And I know I'm gonna see people, well, memory doesn't matter, you're da 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 I do digital only for this fucking console. And the fact that 4K games have a much bigger size because you have to have the patch for the 4K experience does bring the memory to the forefront of this thing. And again, you can buy a slim and it's much more superior in the memory department. How are you going to have multiple models with 2 terabytes? And your first launch of the Xbox One X is a one terabyte machine. That makes it a inferior device in my book. You can't do that. Think about it. Think about had the PlayStation 4 come out and been 500 gigs. What would have been so superior about the fucking model? What would have been so superior about it? It does 4K. So? Who cares? It's got 500 gigs in it. But it does 4K. So? It does 4K, but it has 500 gigs. Why am I buying a 500 gig system when the bitch I own now has a terabyte in it that I put in it myself? This is not worth my time. See what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure the games are going to be bigger because I have to have the 4K. Or I, I'm going to want the 4K so the file sizes are bigger. So why am I going to want to buy this? Because it's got a joke hard drive. And that's what we're looking at here. And like I said, nobody wants to say this. But I'm going to say it because it needs to be said. These companies, like Microsoft and Xbox, want you to focus on the wrong thing. 
I focused on the right part of this, man. This is a joke. You took leaps and bounds from your first gen, like, with the Xbox, the original Xbox to the 360, leaps and bounds with the memory. The original Xbox had 10 gigabytes of internal memory, which now is a joke because we had the 360, which had, I think, a 20 gig. Uh, then it went up to a, six, a 40, a 60, 80, uh, 120, and so on. But it didn't come out with just a 4 gig. I know the Slim did. That was built in, and people were like, why Why you have a 4 gig? And people laughed at that shit. But then when it jumped up to the 320 and the 500, people were fucking impressed. You know what I mean? And when they left out on the 360 with 500, and they came in with the Xbox One with 500, people had to be scratching their head going, why come in at 500? If the game file sizes are so fucking massive. Why? That's that's not going to give me any room for anything. I got to pick my favorite games off the jump. I don't know if I'm going to like any of these. I want to get them all. But I can't play them all because I have no fucking room. And now we're stuck in the same situation with the Xbox One X. Congratulations. We're in the same boat. You can go out and you can buy these games, but you can't play any of them because you don't have any fucking memory. Which they could have fixed, they should have fixed it, but they didn't. And because idiots out there give them all the excuses in the world, they won't fix it. I'm not giving them any excuses. I bought a two terabyte slum. Two terabyte slum. I'm not giving them any excuses. You want to impress me, the next model you release better be able to match or beat that. In fact, it better be able to beat that if you want me to fucking buy it. Otherwise, I'm saying it's inferior. You have to be able to beat it on every single level. Just because, oh, well, it's doing gaming in 4K and HDR. Bitch, the Slim does gaming in HDR. You're not impressing me. You've got to be able to match it in every department. Otherwise, it's inferior. Every department. You can't just match it in a few. You've got to match it in every department. Otherwise, the price tag isn't good. You get what I'm saying? Well, it's got a one terabyte hard drive. Bitch, the Slim has two. The Slim I own has two terabytes built in. A lot of people have a Slim with two terabytes in it. Why would I trade in my Slim that has two terabytes for an Xbox One X with one terabyte. Why would I do that? Why would anybody do that? You can house more games on that. And I know you're thinking, well, you're just making up ran you know, random reasons not to. No, I'm making up good reasons not to. The Slim plays 4K videos, 4K Blu-rays. The Xbox One does the same thing. The Slim has HDR gaming. The Xbox One X has HDR gaming. The Slim does some 4K gaming. The Xbox One does 4K gaming. These things do pretty much the same thing. The Xbox One just does it with more power and all the time. The Slim just has the bigger memory. If the Xbox One X came out with the more memory and higher memory, I would support it completely. Because yes, then it would be the more superior. But because it defaulted here, it's the inferior. You know what I'm saying? You don't come out with something that is better in almost every way and expect people to run out and get it. Because then they have to sacrifice at other fucking parts of it. Hey man, you bought a 2 terabyte hard drive uh, model system. Well this one's a weaker hard drive so you can't have all the shit you had before. Um, without having to go out and spend more money for possibly more room on hard drives because you might have that 2 terabyte hard drive that's external already filled up. So you might have two externals plus the uh, built in, you know, the 2 terabyte that's internal filled up as well. So, you know, you could possibly be looking at a lot of space there. And that 1 terabyte that's built in might not be doing it for you. I'm just pointing out the fault here and the reason this is such a big deal.
You can be thinking what you want to. But I'm, I'm just showing you how this is very faulty and why this is such a big deal. Not only to me, but why it should be to you. Because again, that price tag is $500, but it doesn't match. It doesn't match. And every reason to buy, hey man, it's more superior on every level. No, it's not. It's inferior on one, one, one big thing. Anyway, do so.